The Gibbs free energy equation helps us know whether a reaction will occur spontaneously or not. Free energy is basically the capacity of how much work a system can do, usually in a cell. Here's the actual equation. Delta G equals delta H minus T delta S. The delta symbol stands for change of. So the change of free energy is denoted by delta G over here. Delta H stands for the change of total energy, or enthalpy. T stands for temperature in Kelvin. And delta S is the change in the system's entropy. One of the most important things that you need to know is that when delta G is negative, or the free energy change is negative, the reaction is spontaneous like in cellular respiration since its free energy is negative 686 kilocalories per mole. Some ways to make delta G negative are by making delta H negative, which means you're lowering enthalpy, or making this last term positive, which means you're increasing the disorder of the system. You can also do both to make delta G negative. But remember, processes in which the change in free energy equals zero or is positive are never spontaneous. On the other hand, you can also think of the change in free energy as the change before and after the reaction. Here's another equation that you can use. Delta G equals G sub final state minus G sub initial state. In order to make this negative, you would have to have a larger amount of energy in the initial state than the final state. Another key thing to remember is that systems with lower G are more stable than systems with higher G, like a ball on the top of the hill is more likely to roll than a ball at the bottom of the hill. So that's mostly all you need to know about free energy for AP Biology. Thanks for watching and don't forget to comment any questions that you have.